Hello and welcome, Neil is here from Tax TV. Um, as you already know, football got cancelled at the weekend uh, due to the sad passing away of uh, the Queen. So we're back to football and matters, which VFL have granted that uh, football fixtures all you know midweek for certain teams, certain uh, clubs will start on Tuesday. So, um, as far as I know, we've been getting going ahead for Port Vale. All systems go. Uh, be interesting to see what happens at weekend. But this is why I didn't do one for Portsmouth. I predicted starting 11. So, yeah, just to serve it, uh, we're bad, uh, passing away at Queen. So, we'll get to it. We'll get to the uh, my predictor starting, starting 11. Uh, be interesting to see what. What's going to happen and where we're going to go. So, yeah, Port Vale, uh, Tuesday, 13th of September, 7.45 kickoff. I don't think I will change, uh, to be fair. If, you know, I'll give my thoughts on a few players, but I think may, you know, slightly alter to the Sheffield Wednesday game away. Obviously, there'll be Cal Styles missing from that as well. Uh, so, for me, Collins, I think, will start. I think Williams will start as well. I think the vast majority of the side are going to be more or less sticking as it is for Sheffield Wednesday game. I could see Jordan Williams playing at right wing back, but I could give my thoughts in a minute about what might happen. Mads Anderson, Captain Mads, is not uh, picked up any injuries or like that, so he's good to go. Robbie Cundy, again, solid performance at the back, so I think he'll be good. Conor McCarthy, again, I think one of his better performances is the vast majority of the team, if I'm being honest, against Sheffield Wednesday. And left wing back, Kitchen. I know that Styles has gone now. Um, so I think that could be the back three plus two wing backs. Will he fetch back Nicky Cadden? It's been said before that he wants to you know, ease Cadden in a bit more slowly and not rush him in. I could possibly see either Williams playing at centre back and getting Tom Edwards to go at right wing back. You know, he's been brought in on loan. But for me, I think he'd keep it as is, as that. It's undecided what might happen at the minute, but I think we as Evan and Brett can kind of have uh, like a behind closed doors uh, game just for keep the fitness up and stuff like that. But I'm thinking that's what it's going to be, barring if there's any little niggles or not, but I think that's what will happen. I'm going to midfield. Matty Wolf, I can see Matty Wolf replacing Josh Benson if Josh Benson hadn't recovered uh, from his from his injury at Chef Wednesday. Like a bit of a muscle, muscle strain. If Benson's fit, I could see Benson playing starting, but if not, I could see Matty Wolf playing in midfield. You know, you've also got a choice of another new start, Adam Phillips, but we'll come to that in a minute. Look, Thomas, again, bad, in, you know, any little niggles, I can see him starting. And Luke O'Connell, uh, getting better and better every every game is impressing a lot. That's my middle three. Again, could you see Adam Phillips get involved in first, from start rather than Matty Wolf, or would you go Matty Wolf? And I'd have Adam Phillips on bench again when Adam Adam came on uh, second half as a sub. In fairness, Matty Wolf did as well. Uh, we didn't look out of place, looked uh, up for it. So I think we've got some good options there in midfield. Would you risk Benson? Mm, maybe not, knowing that you've got some more games coming up. I think it's Cambridge away Saturday. And then you've got um, Newcastle in the 21s, haven't you? On t- uh, Tuesday. Yeah, I'm just going to think for Tuesday, Wednesday. So, again, we've got some fixtures coming up. At home against Port Vale, I could see us... I could see it going like that, but, again, it's all about opinions, isn't it? Uh, let have y'all your, your say in a minute. Um, up front, Devante Cole. And I think we all know what over is going to be. Jack Aitchison. Again, we heard a Marsh going out on loan to Scunthorpe. You've got uh, Larry Zaka. I know he hasn't been in, involved in his team affairs, but he's gone out. Apart from that, you've got Norwood, Tedich. That's kind of it. Um, 
again, this is a, a, a question for you, uh, for people who are watching. Now that Aiden Marsh is going out on loan, does that open up for someone else to be look for us to be looking at free agent market for a, a striker to come in to beef it up? Because yeah, I think it's a good move for Aiden Marsh to get some games under his belt. But when you look from Devante Cole to Aitchison, you look at the attacking options. Then now you've got Norwood and Tedic. So again, is there, is there a game changer here? I know Norwood come off the bench and squid. I think for tough touch of game, credit to him. You know what I mean? Confidence is breeding, but I still, you know, have a look at free agent market. But you know, I'd like to think we are. I don't want to be dropping behind if we could uh, get some bit of quality in there just to beef it up a bit. But again, that's my pick to start and love him. Let me know what uh, you'll think as well. I mean, it's, like I say, it's all about opinions, isn't it? So, at home against Port Vale. I think we all want, you know, obviously there's going to be a mark of respect for Queen, who sadly passed away. And even if you're not a royalist or, a, you know, a bit monarch and all that, it's still respect uh, for what she, you know, for uh, country. Uh, credit, you know, credit uh, to all what uh, people have been doing and going through. It's affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Um, some worse than others. So, again, I think, you know, Football is a big community, a big family. We all can get together and uh, we all support one another through through this. But yeah, uh, Port Vale, again, it's, for me, it's a winnable game. We should, be, we should be going into Port Vale game, looking at this as confidence, you know, as own games. It would have been interesting to see how we uh, approached the Portsmouth game. But like I said, cancelled for obvious reasons. But if it had been two own games on Bop, you know, what kind of points would you have been looking at? Would you have been wanting six points from that? Would have been looking at four points from it? For me, I'd have been looking at six. I know Portsmouth are going pretty well at minute, but bounds at home. We've got to be beating uh, teams like this. We, 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 you know, as home games, we need to be making it a fortress. But it's going to be heavily dependent on his own, own form. Yeah, we had a, a great result uh, against Sheffield Wednesday, but we, we need to take that into momentum. Cambridge United coming up, you know. So we, we fixed just coming up thick and fast. It's not going to take that much to either fall behind or gain points to go in front. For me, I'm going to be saying, I've got a feeling it, it, it's going to be 2 1 Barnsley. 2 1 Barnsley. I think if we start with the, the momentum, if we can get crowd like I mean atmosphere against Sheffield Wednesday were unbelievable. Um we can get back to through to Walkwell um where a fortress should be. For me it'd be two one. Again, it's all about opinion, so I'd love to you know hear your comments, Bounds in Port Bale. Have you saying comments below? Do you think, you know, would you change hotels since starting eleven? Would you would you start any any different, you know, I Bear in mind, you've got Adam Phillips and Tom Edwards, two, two players come on loan. Josh Martin as well, chuck him into the mix. So we've got players via, you know, what could possibly command a first team spot, but it's healthy competition, isn't it? Um, some of what we've been, I think, lacking is in squad depth. Still, I still think we're short in a few areas, obvious reasons, what I've just said via attacking options. But I'd like to think that there's a possibility of free agent pool if we're not a million miles away and said two or three months time we get to January. Michael Duff will probably have identified someone to come in and do a job. I've always said it's going to take Duff probably two, maybe three transfer windows to get his not just team but his squad settled for this, uh, for for what he's wanted to implement and play at Barnsley. So, yeah, all about opinions, have your say. Please like, subscribe and share. You always do. I always appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts about starting 11 and let me know your score predictions. Is it bounds a win? Or can we get back to uh, winning ways back at Oakwell? One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>